Hey guys, Brenny here with Redstone Frickin' Screen Part 3. Um, I figured I'd show you guys just the last bit just to make sure you guys get it. Um, Alright, so number 5 is done with the the first one, skip the second one, the middle three, and then a fourth, not the last one. Uh, six would be done, the first two, three, four, and then what one of these do we need? I know we need a, we need the bottom, I think, but we'll just make sure, remembering we can just easily go check. Uh, if you've already done this, just, I won't, shouldn't be too long anyway. There you go, there's a six. Uh, we need a 7 and an 8 and a 9. The 8 is clearly the easiest, or a 1 or something. There's an 8. We'll just do the 8 now. 8. Ah, oh, crap. There's an 8. Um, this is a 7, so we need to go these two, and then the top one, I believe, which would be this very corner one. Yes. And then for a 9, we need to do... These two, the middle ones, missing the bottom one, but have the top one, and there we go. We should have a nine, and I want to test the seven just to make sure. There we go, there's a nine. So it shouldn't take you guys too long. It's quite simple once you remember what Redstone Torch does what. And there's my seven. We'll test that out. And there we go. Now what we're actually going to do is break these. Now, that's because we're going to make... Uh, RS nor latch uh wait what are these called I think oh, yeah I believe the vertical RS nor latches that's what they're called uh which are quite simple to make but yeah just teach you guys how to make them too so this is actually how this works an RS nor latch so you'll see this torch here would be connected to our wires here basically and this is RS nor latch and this is a reset system so we push this it will turn off this torch which will allow our lights to come on for whatever decoder line we have. But then we need to be able to reset it. So we quickly do a flick of this and it will reset it. You could also have a button reset but if you just put that there with a the torch on the back of it. And then we got a button. There we go, a button. And there we go. And you'll see that there's nothing. it's not lit up. Press this to turn it on. It's lit up. Press this to reset it and it's not lit up. And the whole point of making this vertical and having this reset system is because we can hit all of them at once with the reset. So you'll see here, this is my reset. And once we hit it with a power signal, um, we'll pick one of these. So we'll go number six. We'll display a number six. There we go. Once we hit the reset, it will go through and turn off all this torch. Uh, turn on all the torches here, which will actually make this screen show nothing. And when the torch is turned off, it will show something. But anyway, it's actually going nighttime again already. Um, we'll get we'll get started on making these. So we'll make them out of blue, like my one over there. Uh, we're actually going to have to go ahead and I actually want to. Yeah, here should be fine to be honest break it and then move it up so break it and then move it up if you don't do that there won't be enough redstone by one block I believe that's what happened to me with that one and it kind of sucked but yeah break it move it up break it and then move it up and then we need to do a little shape like this and then behind that you just have one redstone but we won't do that just yet because we've got to place torches on it and it makes it a lot easier to place torches when you no don't have to weave through little gaps but we've got to sleep now I know this isn't my best tutorial I've ever made because this is basically a live tutorial my other tutorials are still live but I've practiced and made sure I know what I'm doing 100% and didn't have anything to look back over, divided it in. I could do this with this, but it would just take me forever. Alright, so what you're going to do on every front side at the top, you're going to put a torch. And then... I actually believe I was meant to teach you how to make the water pot in this episode, so we'll do that next, because I want to figure out a better wiring system. And then behind it, you are going to put another torch, but at the bottom. Oops, missed a spot. There we go. And then we put our wool here, so we have a little pathway, and basically this will have all the wiring connected to it. So we do wiring on top, 
And there we go, that's how we do the basic RS door latches. Uh, I suppose I'll make this part 3 and we'll just do the RS door latch part. And then part 4 we'll do the screen and hopefully I can upload these daily. I'll see, I'll see how long I've been working on this one for. Be right back. Alright guys, so I've only been working on this for 5 minutes so we have plenty of time. So what we're going to do here is do a little staircase down under these. So like that. And there we go, and then we're going to break, not really, you don't have to break all of these, but I like to make it so you guys can see, so I'll break all three. But you guys theoretically only need to break these two here, like so. But I'm going to break a third so I can step back and show you stuff, and hopefully that helps you. Alright, so we're going all the way down here. This is really entertaining, isn't it? All the way to the very last one, which, there it is. I believe, like so. I don't really know why these are that practical, by the way, guys, but yeah. All right, now what we're going to do is go under all of them and put a block under every single blue part with this redstone torch. So not on this side. Make sure you're not on that side. I'll just jump out of here. Make sure you're on the side closest to the decoder. Put a block under every single one here. On this bit of dirt, we'll actually make it into um, wool. Here, you didn't have to put that wool there. You're going to put a redstone torch. Now, on top of all of these, you're going to put a redstone torch. And that is our reset system there once this is done. Oh, well, basically the start to our reset system. But you'll see, actually, that all of these are still powered. Um, that's because when these torches are powered, they actually reset the system. So we have to get them unpowered. And the way we do that by getting the signal down really easily is using a redstone repeater system. So to do that, what we do is get redstone repeaters. If you really wanted to, you could have like wiring and do it like that. Actually, I might do it like that just to show you guys. Um, but yeah, you could do it like this, but that takes a longer time, you see. So uh, we'll do it like this. This seems like the easy way. Plus, I don't want to test around with it and mess it up and you'll see once it, we get to this torch it will all be powered and basically these torches are still on but once we press a button so say we flick a switch here this one will stay on and display the number zero and then when we come here and do our reset which is this one with a simple flick which would be a button theoretically you'll see that it resets it all and that's what what to get the screen to display what number we push we reset it back to nothing, and then the button will send a signal also to what number we push. So I'll show you that here. You will see that right here is the reset button. Right there. And this line of redstone behind here, down this line, is the reset. So when we push, push this, it will send a signal to that block and this block. Now this block will be the reset and it only has like these repeaters and those repeaters. And then the other one will follow this pathway all the way down here and have a few more repeaters with a bit of delay on them to make sure that the number gets to it after the signal to reset gets to it. And there you go, you have a four. Uh, but we won't actually do that right now, we'll get working on the screen. So we'll make sure our screen is reset, yes it is. Alright, then we're going to get out pistons and make sure they're sticky pistons and put them on the outside. Actually, you probably wouldn't even need sticky pistons if you want. You could just use normal pistons and have this one less thickness, but it doesn't really matter. Alright, so now we're going to do this. And this part kind of gets a bit annoying because I just have to fill in a huge wall and stuff. But yeah, put a repeater, uh, your piston on each every single one. And then pick a block of cho color of choice. doesn't really matter. I tend to just go black because it matches the background like so and then what we're gonna do is fill this in too so you can do it the same like thickness of this or you can do it thinner but I like to do it just one around so come out run one around the whole eight like that go up here and go one around and that actually gives it this look over here instead of oh that one I actually think I did thinner too Would, yeah just basically go one around the eight um, 
and that gives spots for the water to fill in so it doesn't mess it up when you use the water. Oops, forgot to cover these ones. Silly me. It doesn't really matter as long as you go uh, one out and fill everything in because you'll see we fill it in and then you won't even know there's an eight there. It will just look like a block. But once we press the numbers, you'll see that the numbers come out. You could just have it like that if you wanted to really, but it's not my style. So we'll come here and we'll go press a number just to show you guys. Uh, we will press number six, I think this is. There we go. Number six is being powered and it stays on. And there you go. You have a six coming out. But that's really hard to see, isn't it? So what we have to do is basically put water there around it and it will draw the six quite easily. So now what we do is we put a border around this. Oh, actually, we need to put a border one more down. So like that and one more out and go all the way around this like so pretty easy come down here oops hey when I place a block um, come down and oh crap I thought there was a spider on my roof then I nearly got up and squealed like a girl I probably would have still posted that and there you go you do it like that now what we have to do is get out glass and a bucket of water so there we go and where is glass there it is and basically I like to just do it in the middle where it's needed put your glass it'd probably be better if you had a like see clearer looking glass but I don't so there we go we fill it in do that with the next layer making sure we fill in every single spot like that cuz um if you don't you get like a weird water rift thing going on so say I did that that and that you'll see that there's one missing and it's because I miss, yeah, see, look, I missed heaps that time. Oh, I'm such a dumbass. There we go. Oh, luckily, I didn't overplace that. But the good thing is, with this design, like, if you spill water around it, it wouldn't really damage it unless you go around near the back and go, uh, and place water around there. I actually don't recommend you do that, by the way. Um, we fill this in with water. And do another line. Fill that in with water. And very repetitive, but I like to show everything, like I said in the previous videos. There we go. Uh, but we are... I keep saying we're almost done, but I, like, I think we're like three away, and then we're like five away, and it's like, that's double what I thought. Which is still not that long, because it doesn't actually take that long. As you can see, like, I'm one away now. Uh, the top one is a bit of an arse. You actually have to break the top part off. I found that's the easiest way, like that. And then we put our glass. Not that it, I don't think it would spill at all, even if we filled it all up. But you don't really want to risk it just, just for the sake of testing something. It's easier just to break this and then place it. There we go. And now that's our screen. It's basically done. Or you can do your little number select things with the resets. So we will go number 9 this time. Selected number 9. Come all the way over here. And there you go. Number 9 is a lot clearer to read. It actually touches the bottom though. I didn't... What? What's going on? I think we can bring, we'll bring it down one from there, which is going to be a bit of an ass, but um, something I want to do because I'm picky. Uh, like so. Figured this would be the easiest way because I knew it would spill. Uh, Got to reset it because there's things in the way. Oh, I can't reset. This is easy. There we go. Now it's reset. And you'll see here that we have water leakage everywhere. And I can't really see what's going on, which really sucks. I think I'll just fill this in, really, to be honest. And we need to fill in here with water. Oh, it doesn't even have a back. Where's the, where's the back part? The other one has a back. Oh, yeah, I made the back for the other one. My bad. Oh, yeah, I didn't go one around the bottom. There's my clear mistake, guys. Alright, so what we're going to do is place this all in here, and then we're going to place the glass, and hopefully this tends, uh, looks as nice as I want it to. I'm sorry about the mistake, guys, um, but like I said, I'll show it um, so you guys see. There we go, and now we'll just place water in here to make sure. Yeah, see, the leakage is good. That means we have all the blocks filled in. And there we go. It should look, look a lot better, but it's not like it was that bad when we first did it. So we'll go here. There you go. We should have a number displayed on screen. There we go. Number three. It looks a lot better when it's got the one blockage around it. Um, 
it does look a bit off centered, but there is meant to be a block there, remember? And that's about it for this episode. Next, we'll get onto the buttons, and then we're done. Um, there's a lot of other things you can do with these, but I'm not going to be able to teach you that because my redstone knowledge doesn't go that far. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. Uh, please comment, rate, it really helps. Favorite if you want. And yeah, bye.